Are you looking for a great Airbnb to stay at in Munising, Michigan? We are in this one right here. There's a hallway that you walk to to get up here. And this was a fantastic place if you guys are looking for a great place. First of all, you walk in, you have two storage cabinets here on the side, one with an ironing board and a broom. And on this side, you have some shelving units with some extra pillows and towels and all that type of stuff. On the left-hand side, you have a little bathroom right here. Nice shower, tub, sink, toilet right here. Everything works great. Now, my only complaint is that it's just a little tiny. It's kind of small. The door actually hits the toilet right there, and you can kind of see that on the door right there. I got a nice little medicine cabinet to be able to put all your things up there. The shower pressure on this was fantastic, and the tub fills up. It has very hot water as well, too, so I really, really like that, especially if you're coming to Michigan during the winter months where it's going to be cold and you want to take a nice warm bath. That's always good. We came here during the summer. It was still a little chilly for us, so it was nice to have that. Then you have this big kitchen area right here. You got a nice Amana range right there. You got a microwave. There's a toaster over there. Nice dual basin sink right here. There was all kinds of cabinet space up here. They have a few, uh, you know, simple things that you might need. The coffee, the vo or extra virgin olive oil, some salt and all that. But they had plenty of storage space. These are all the cups and the plates that they have and the bowls. There's a coffee maker up there if you utilize that. There is no dishwasher in here. It's kind of one thing that I wish that they would have added. But um, they do have all your pots and pans and all the mixing bowls and everything that you're going to need to cook. There's a little storage spot for some bags. They actually could probably put a dishwasher right about here if they wanted to. Some rags, some extra storage all throughout here. So there's plenty of storage. If you plan on staying here, especially long term, we stayed here for a week and we utilized a good bit of this because we always bring food with us. On the other side here, you have a nice uh, refrigerator freezer up here. Freezer on top, got a good big bin in here so you can stack some things and some shelving right here. And then on the inside here, of the refrigerator again shelving on the side nice big drawer here on the bottom kept everything nice and cold worked great nice big table right here it's a four seater table for a family of five but there's an office chair that we would roll into this area and it worked well got some nice natural light coming in from right here nice fixtures up here to really light up the place so that was a great kitchen. I have no complaints about the kitchen really, except that it could have used a dishwasher. You have a little partition right here and then you go into the main living area. They have a nice desk right here, a little office area that you can utilize. You have some good internet fast download speeds. I think it was 100 down and 10 up, so great speeds. This is a, a furnace right here, so if you do come in the wintertime or if it's cold for you, you can turn that on. The thermostat for it is right here. You just simply turn that. I checked it out just to test it out and it worked really well. It pushes a lot of hot air through there. Of course, on the hot days in the summertime, you have your uh, window unit right there that you can turn on. That really uh, helps cool off the place a lot. You do have these blinds up here on the windows. Two windows right here. Good uh, windows right here. Nice insulated, good stuff. The only thing I wish that they would have would be some blackout curtains on there. We actually took this blanket right here and we clipped it up to the top of the window and that helped to knock out a lot of the light in here so that the kids would sleep better because this is a sleeper sofa right here. So the uh, two kids slept on that and then the other kids slept on this couch right here. There's a little coffee table to be able to do things on, a little note little table you can put some things on right there but all in all nice big space to really spread out play games play cards let kids have fun um, you know to be able to open up the couch and still have plenty of room around so definitely enjoyed this space coming into here you got a nice little coat rack right here which we utilize for all of our jackets we put some stuff down like uh, our suitcases and whatnot all down in this area and there's also some space up here that we put like blankets and extra stuff that we didn't really necessarily need all the time so it's a nice little uh, area right here to kind of throw down. You got a nice little vanity right here. This is where we did a lot of, we put our charging stuff. So like all the electronics we need to charge. There's a plug underneath there to be able to do that. And then we have a nice, I believe this is a double bed right there. Got a great night's sleep on it, honestly. The only thing, again, is blackout curtains. Like the sun comes up from this direction, like straight on right over here. And so it really like floods the room with light in the morning. So if you don't like light in your face in the morning, then uh, definitely bring something to black it out or, you know... You need to get some blackout. Even with the blinds closed, every morning I was like, oh man, it's so bright. 
I sleep with a sleep mask too. That's another thing you can do is grab a sleep mask. But they do have all the blankets and comfortable pillows and whatnot. There's an extra fan in here as well. And then they have a little nightstand right there with a lamp on it. And so they have a lot of reading materials here too for things to do in the area, which was super cool. This one was actually very, very useful right there. Uh, that is the sleeping quarters. As far as the outside area, I'll go ahead and take you guys down there and we'll all show you guys how that whole thing operates. It just opens with a keypad right here. Simply put in the code and you're good to go. Hello, yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. You have a good day. You too, thank you. <clears throat> so this is the hallway that we come down. And this leads to the outside area right here. There's a little grill right here that you can utilize if you want to. We didn't. My said it was a little dirty. Just could use a little clean up on there. They don't have a scrub brush out here for everyone to use, it seems. So that's one thing that we could have uh, utilized but didn't. They have a little extra prep table right there if you want to utilize that. There's another unit up there. I don't know if y'all noticed, and I believe that's a unit right there as well. So there are a couple of other uh, people staying here, although we didn't have, we didn't even see any of those other people. Some more steps that you got to come down right here, and then they have some parking right here. Just a little gravel parking lot right here. So uh, it's some nice trees right here, so your car will stay shaded and it doesn't get too hot during the day. So if you guys are looking for a great place to stay in Munising, I can definitely recommend this place. Y'all definitely go and check it out. Thank y'all for watching. Go travel somewhere and dad out.